Census Bureau data between 2010 and 2014 shows that for the first time since the Civil War, the percentage of white residents living in the city of Cincinnati increased. That's a key indicator in the emerging national reurbanization trend is happening here. The same American Community Survey data also shows increasing movement of blacks to the suburbs since at least 2000. The white portion of the city's population had dropped every decade since it peaked at 97.7% in 1861. The most dramatic declines occurred between 1950 and 2010. White population increased from 48% to nearly 49% between 2010 and 2014. If those trends continue in the long term, both parts of metropolitan Cincinnati could become more integrated. Business Courier reporter Chris Wetterick wrote this story and joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio with more on what the census data means. Chris and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Interesting story, Chris. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's surprising, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, you looked into this because it's a national trend. Right. Uh, the Washington Post had written uh, something about this, and there's another, there's a blogger nationally who's recognized for uh, writing about these demographic trends. And so a reader suggested that, uh, you know, that we look into it as well, and, and we did. Uh, and so, you know, we found, we found that the trend is true in Cincinnati, as it is in other large cities in America, that whites are increasingly moving into the city and African Americans are, you know, their share of the suburban population is increasing as well. So any insight into why it's happening? Well, you know, I think in the case of, of uh, white people, I think that they view the city as being, cities as being safer uh, than they have been. They are more interested in living in urban places where they can walk to work, they could, you know, take a bus or train yeah. to work, they could, you know, go to, uh, you know, go to, go to plays and go to dinner and, and just have all their activities and, and life within walking distance or at least you know a very short drive of, of where they live so there's more interest in that nationwide um, and I think that's I think that's mainly driving driving the issue and of course you have Millennials too and they're right. you know Millennials and baby boomers both ironically you know are looking for that kind of lifestyle now after both kind of growing up in the suburbs and so what does it say about the suburbs and is this uh, is this an indication that maybe our community is all of our communities are becoming more integrated. Yeah, I think that's true. Uh, you know, I mean, it's going to be a gradual process, I suspect. But um, you know, there are more African Americans moving to the suburbs. That path was blocked to them for for a lot of the 20th century. Right. You know, it wasn't until the mid to late 70s where redlining the process of of preventing blacks from moving to the suburbs by not loaning them money to buy houses and not representing them in real estate sales. You know where that practice ended. Um, so you've seen a gradual up, upward mm -hmm. trend of that that's accelerated in, in recent years. A professor I talked to from UC said that you know uh, African Americans are attracted to the suburbs the same reason whites are. Sure. So you know good schools, safe neighborhoods, some of that stuff. Yeah, well, it's an interesting story. People should read the the full print edition to really get the full story. So yeah. thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me.